This is the Power Circuit, a program proudly brought to you by the Transmission Company of Nigeria TCN. I am Amara Agugoisi, and in this edition, we have the following reports. Minister inspects power transmission projects in Oyo State. North Core transmission project to tackle energy poverty across countries, says WAP Chairman Engineer Abdulaziz. TCN acquires seven power transformers for installation across Lagos substations. The commitment of the Federal Government of Nigeria towards increasing electricity transmission capacity has gotten a boost as the Minister of Power, Chief Adebayo Adelabu, begins the inspection of transmission facilities and ongoing projects, starting in Oyo State. Let's have the reports. The Minister was accompanied by the Managing Director and Chief Executive Officer of the Transmission Company of Nigeria, TCN, Engineer Dr. Sule. Ahmed Ablaziz and the management team of TCN Oshobo region during the inspection visit. Their first spot of call was at the 330-132-33 kV Ayede transmission substation in Ibado, Oyo State. The Minister of Power, Chief Adebayo Adelabu, also in company of the MDCEO of TCN, paid a courtesy visit to the Governor of Oyo State, His Excellency Olusei Makinde. They discussed area of collaboration to improve power supply and safeguard power installations in the state. Also discussed were ways of curbing the menace of vandalism of power transmission assets and how to involve communities in safeguarding TCN installations and other equipment in the state. The Minister of Power and the TCN team led by the Managing Director also visited the newly energized 1x60 MVA 132-33 kV Oyo Transmission Substation in Oloewu, Oyo Town, Oyo State. The minister and the team also inspected the ongoing construction of the 132-33 kV Obumosho Transmission Substation project, also in Oyo State. As part of the inspection tour of powered infrastructure by the Minister of Power, Chief Adebayo Adelabu, and his team visited the head office of Ibado Electricity Distribution Company in Ibado, Oyo State where he helped on collaboration among power sector operators. When we return, you will get an update about the North Core Transmission Project. The Transmission Company of Nigeria, TCN, transmits bulk electricity from power generating companies, GenCos, Distribution Load Centers of Distribution Companies, DISCOs, nationwide. At TCN, we transport bulk electricity at very high voltage to DISCOs, who now off-take it and distributes it directly to electricity customers nationwide. TCN does not generate electricity. We transport the quantum of power generated to distribution load centers. TCN does not distribute electricity directly to electricity consumers. Our job stops where that of the discos begin. TCN consists of two distinct business units. The Transmission Service Provider, TSP, and Independent System Operation, ISO. ISO comprises System Operation, SO, and Market Operation, MO. Each business unit perform specialized functions under the TCN umbrella. TCN, transmitting bulk electricity in the most efficient and effective manner. Nigeria has a target to reach energy sufficiency as well as become the largest player in the West African electricity market. Towards attaining this milestone, the country is leading other African countries in delivering the North Core project. The Chairman, Executive Board of the West African Power Pool, Engineer Dr. Suli Ahmed Abdulaziz, says this intercountry power transmission project will tackle energy poverty in unserved and underserved communities across countries. Electricity is a valid necessity worldwide. 
and to ensure its stable supply. Countries continually commit resources to building infrastructure for that. The Chairman, Executive Board of West African Power Pool, Engineer Dr. Sule Ahmed Ablaziz, believes the North Core project is key to tackling energy poverty in underserved and unserved communities in the host countries by unlocking full potential aimed at bridging the gap in electricity access. Engineer Ablaziz, who is also the Managing Director and CEO of the Transmission Company of Nigeria, TCN, was represented by the General Manager, Program Coordination, Project Implementation Unit at TCN, Engineer Aminu Tahir, at the 7th meeting of the North Core Projects Joint Supervision Committee in Abuja. This project isn't merely about transmitting electricity. It's about creating a dynamic interconnected network that will redefine our energy landscape. The North Core project's primary objective goes beyond infrastructure. It aims to catalyze efficient energy trade, encourage commercial exchange agreements, and bring electricity access to communities along the transmission line. Envision as a transformative force, this project is the lifeline that will interconnect the destinies of our respective countries. The importance of this initiative transcends borders, echoing the spirit of unity within the ECOWAS region. Now, why is this project crucial? It stands at the forefront of multifaceted effort to break the shackles of energy poverty and elevate the living standard of our communities. Beyond being a paradigm shift in how we approach power generation and distribution, it is a lifeline for those living in areas with limited or no electricity access. This visionary initiative prioritized on underserved regions aiming to bridge the gap in electricity access. It's about bringing power to schools, clinics, businesses that have long operated in the shadow of energy scarcity. Engineer Ablaziz further provided details of the project and the innovative feats that make it unique. The Wap Notco project conceived as a vital solution to address the substantial electricity supply demand imbalance within the ECOS region is the testament to the collaborative spirit of Benin, Burkina Faso, Niger, Nigeria, and Togo. These visionary governments and energy authorities join forces to design this regional interconnection initiative encompassing the construction of 880 kilometers of 300, uh, 330 kV and 33 kilometers of 225 kV high voltage transmission line. Beyond the transmission line, the project sets out to construct or extend five substations and deploy cutting edge technologies like SCADA system and fiber optic cables along the lines. He expressed gratitude to all the partners. A heartfelt thank you also goes to our technical and financial partners who have been the driving force behind the work not co project to the African Development Bank, the European Union, the French Development Agency, and the World Bank. We are profoundly grateful for your unwavering support and the pivotal role you play in shaping the future of energy in our region. I want to express my sincere appreciation to the WAP Secretary General and the entire North Co project team, both here in Abuja and across our local offices for their dedication and immense support which have been uh, essential in steering the success of our collective endeavors. While addressing pressmen after declaring the meeting open, the Secretary General of WAP, Mr. Apollonie Sengui Ki, said the project has a length of over 900 kilometers and is slated 
to be completed in 2025. More than 900 kilometers, a number of countries involved, this Nigeria, Benin, Togo, Niger, Burkina Faso, and also the aim of the project is to provide uh, the inland countries, I mean the landlocked countries as Niger, as Burkina Faso, with uh, cheap energy coming from Nigeria. So this is a very important project and giving opportunity also to Nigerian generation companies to make business, to get money from these countries. This really, uh, we have been uh, making it for many years and really it's very important so that we reach the conclusion of the project and make uh, elect elect electricity, energy, power trade in the region really uh, commence and go to these countries. Surely we will not be able to conclude it in the two years, but we hope to make it uh, before three years. That is, uh, rather than concluding it in 2024, I think we may be able to finish it by 2025. Mr. Key said the seventh meeting of the JSC is specifically dedicated to the adoption of the annual plan, adding that the project is being funded by donor organizations. The project is funded by um, donors uh, like uh, World Bank first. World Bank is the main fund of the project, about more than 60% of the project. We have also French agency, we have African Development Bank, we have European uh, uh, Union, we have Nigeria. Nigeria is funding really main of the part in, inside Nigeria. And we have uh, all the other countries for some components of the project. During the technical session, members of the committee discussed the financing plans, project implementation status, security strategies along the line route, as well as other strategic points to accelerate the delivery of the North Core Power Transmission Project. Adding a power transformer to the electricity grid often means more capacity to deliver bulk electricity for onward supply to end users. The transmission company of Nigeria TCN is not just committed to doing this. The management is ensuring that every substation gets more than the required capacity to allow for spare capacity. At the Lagos region of TCN, the management of the company has delivered seven power transformers for installation across substations in Lagos State. Here is more on these reports. The seven new power transformers were delivered to the 330-132 kV Akomba Transmission Substation and subregion in Lagos State. They have capacities ranging from 60 MVA to 100 MVA along with their accessories. These power transformers were delivered as part of the ongoing TCM World Bank funded power projects.
a senior manager at the TCM World Bank Project Monitoring Unit, Engineer Banke Williams, spoke more about the power equipment delivery. Uh, these transformers are from the World Bank project, that's the reinforcement and the rehabilitation project. That's a TR1A lot 2 or package of the World Bank project. These are actually for the Lagos um, region. The transformers are to be installed in Lagos. According to the official, the power transformers have already been marked for installation at the 13233 Kilovos Alausa Transmission Substation. The 13233 Kilovos Maryland Transmission Substation and the 13233 Kilovos Itire Substation. The rest of the substations, which are the 13233 Kilovos Akoka Transmission Substation and the 13233 Kilovos Amuo Transmission Substation, got two power transformers. Upon the completion of the installation and the subsequent energizing of the transformers, the bulk power evacuation capacity of TCN at the substations will significantly increase. Those are the areas that will benefit from these seven um, transformers here. The management of the transmission company of Nigeria, TCN, will continue to work to deliver more life-changing power transmission projects towards boosting bulk power available for distribution to the customers of electricity nationwide. this fire? Eh? Hey, God help us. As you mean this thing happened in the night, nobody from this building would have come out alive. Madam, hey. this is why we have warned landlords not to erect structures under the high voltage lines. If this high voltage line fell on the ground, nothing would have happened. But because this structure has been wrongly erected and the high voltage line fell on it, that is why whatever has happened has happened. We advise landlords to always consult the transmission company of Nigeria on their safety compliance on the right of way so that something like this does not happen again. Oga, okay. we are talking of Bond's house and you are talking of right of way. What is right of way and safety compliance? Safety compliance simply means before erecting any structure around any electricity tower or line, there are safety distances you must adhere to. These safety distances are 25 meters on both sides of the electric tower in the case of a 330 kV, 15 meters on both sides of the electric tower in the case of a 132 kV, and 7.5 meters on both sides of the electric tower in the case of a 33 stroke 11 kV. These stipulated safety distance instructions are what we call right of way. If these simple, basic safety distances are adhered to, trust me, there will be less loss of property and lives, resulting from cut transmission lines. Visit Transmission Company of Nigeria office nearest to you for your safety regulations before erecting structures. Let us save lives and properties and build a stronger Nigeria. This message is from the Transmission Company of Nigeria, TCN, transmitting electricity in the most efficient and effective manner. The step the general manager medical has taken is an eloquent step that uh, needs a commendation. And, uh, we will also be happier if we will be able to have Transmission Company of Nigeria Hospital. Mm -hmm. yes. It is not a big deal. Yes. It is not a big deal in the first place. It should be given priority that we have. I tell you, I am one of those who somehow benefited from uh, TCN Hospital. Mm -hmm. 
So to God be the glory that this has happened today. And I commend everybody who is here. Here we can learn one thing or the other that is also good to check your vitals every time. <laughs> to the glory of God we open this uh, this year first air the room. We pray that uh, it will all end in test and getting your vital. Nobody should die here in the name of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We equally pray that at the end of the day, everybody who comes here will find solution. Amen. We pray that this is a first step towards realizing our uh, hospital institution in this particular area. At the end of the day, we will have a, a general hospital for TCN in Abuja. In the regional areas, we should also have because uh, health is wealth. To God be the glory. We dedicate this particular room to God Almighty. Amen. Amen. As we close this edition, here are the headlines. Minister inspects power transmission projects in Oyo State. North Core transmission project to tackle energy poverty across countries, says WAP Chairman Engineer Abdulaziz. TCN acquires seven power transformers for installation across Lagos regions. Join TCN on the campaign against vandalism and encroachment of the right of way of power transmission installations. You will be glad you did. You can enrich yourself with more information by subscribing to the TCN YouTube channel, TCN underscore Nigeria. On Facebook, kindly like the page, Transmission Company of Nigeria. On X, formerly Twitter, follow TCN via at TCN underscore Nigeria. TCN is also on Instagram, TCN underscore Nigeria. You can also send emails to TCN via affairs.public at tcn.org.ng and it will get the required attention. Why don't you learn about the company's website on the interactive website www.tcn.org.ng For more information about what TCN does, this website is dedicated just to you. Log on to www.tcnnews.ng The Transmission Company of Nigeria, TCN, believes that with partnerships and your support, it will continue to deliver world-class services in terms of transmitting bulk electricity nationwide in the most efficient way. I am Amara Agogoisi. See you next week.